Hi guys, I'm Shandor, welcome to my cinema. Today I'm going to watch the 1931 horror classic, Dracula. Now, I'm not only watching this movie because it's October and it's an excuse for me to watch horror movies, I'm not only watching this movie because I'm overall very much intrigued by the concept of Dracula, but also because a fellow Hungarian stars in this movie, Bela Lugosi, or as I know him, Lugosi Bela. Now, I've seen the original Frankenstein movie years ago, which also came out in 1931, and while I definitely didn't think that it was a masterpiece, I was very much impressed by, you know, just how much they were able to achieve visually and in terms of building an atmosphere, so I'm actually really curious as to what this movie has to offer. So let's not waste any more time, here comes Dracula. 3, 2, 1. Uh, this is Tchaikovsky, uh, Swan Lake, right? As far as I know, this music was added to the movie later. Correct me if I'm wrong, but as far as I know, this movie original did not have any music. Can Dracula? Lukashibera. Sorry, I'm gonna call him by his Hungarian name. Lukashibera. Are found crumbling castles of a bygone age. <laughs> I say driver a bit slower. No, no. You must reach the inn before sundown. Valpurgis night. The night of evil. Valpurgis night. Nosferatu. Nosferatu. Okay. They speak in Hungarian. The woman is praying. They speak in Hungarian. I mean, it's Transylvania, yeah. Some people do speak Hungarian in Transylvania. Oh, we're so glad that you've arrived. That's what they're saying. To the Borgo Pass tonight? The man wants to go to the Borgo Passes. No, no, please. <laughs> Sorry, I'm translating it for you guys. Borgo Pass? Yes. Who's carriage? Count Dracula. Oh. Count Dracula? Yes. Yeah, they know what's up. No. You mustn't go there. We people of the mountains believe at the castle there are vampires. They take the form of wolves and bats. Mm. They leave their coffins at night and they feed on the blood of the living. Oh, but that's all superstition. Is it? Nighttime is coming, the sun is setting. I've explained to the driver that it's a matter of business with me. I've got to go. It says borsur és pálinka. It means wine, beer, and pálinka, which is a Hungarian national drink. It kills you. If you must go, wear this for your mother's sake. <laughs> it will protect you. Man, it made me so happy to hear Hungarian in this movie. I was not expecting that, you know? Oh my god, help, help. Oh god, be with us. <laughs> hey, that was so awesome. And this actually looks really, really good. But as you know, uh, Count Dracula, Vlad Tepes, uh, whose character is considered to be, well, he, I think he was a count in Romania. So he was Romanian. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway. Oh, it's... There are more vampires? Apparently. There he is. What a nice shot. Look at his eyes. This feels gothic. You know? I love these settings. Just like with Frankenstein, you know, the atmosphere is, is right on the money. This must be... Uh, is that a set? This can't be a set, but it kind of looks like a set. Wow. You know what? I'm actually really glad that there's no music. It helps with building attention, you know? Uh, I guess they're the ladies. 
I am Dracula. <laughs> I thought I was in the wrong place. I bid you welcome. <laughs> you know, I read that, unfortunately, after this movie, Lugo Shibeta basically, you know, got typecast in these villainous roles, but, uh, Listen to, to them. them. The children of the night, right? Children of the night. Oh, I've heard this before. What, what sweet music, music they make. make. I know this quote. So I was going to say that apparently this role really suits him. The blood is the life, Mr. Redfield. Mm, blood is the life. I took the liberty of having your luggage brought up. Allow me. <laughs> Allow me. Oh, yes. I read that he used his actual accent, you know. I mean, obviously he was born in Hungary, you know. Thanks. I have an accent too. I guess not necessarily as strong as his, but I know that I have an accent. But this is my actual Hungarian accent, so you know. I could sound a lot worse. That's what I'm trying to say here, okay? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, so why is Renfield here, actually? Uh, did he get invited or something? I trust you have kept your coming here a secret. Okay. I followed your instructions implicitly. He did get invited. I would like to discuss the lease on Carfax Abbey. Oh, yes. Carfax Abbey? Everything is in order awaiting your signature. The lighting is really amazing. Tomorrow evening. Well, I guess his delivery is uh, delivery is deliberate. <laughs> That's what I was trying to Everything say. Everything will be ready. You know, he's elongating his lines. You know, just the sound. Hmm. I hope you will find this comfortable. Ominous. Thanks. It looks very inviting. Ouch. Oh. He cut himself. That look on his face. Oh, the cross. Oh, it's nothing serious, just a small cut from that paper clip. <laughs> the misunderstanding. I love these shots so much. Why did he faint? Man. I'm seriously blown away by the visuals of this movie so far. It looks fantastic almost poetic you know is he gonna kill him oh it's not gonna be shown to us 1931 how did they I'm guessing it's a set the sun is gone keep your promise when we get to London won't you master oh he made him his okay you will see that I get lives not human lives, but small ones. I'll be loyal to you, master. He made Ramfield a slave. We are safe. Ah, this reminds me so much of Mel Brooks's parody, you know, of the Dracula movies with Leslie as and I forgot the title, but, you know, master. Crew of corpses found on derelict vessel. I wonder what happened to them. Soul survivor, a raving maniac. He's craving to devour ants, flies, and other small living things to obtain their blood, puzzles scientists. No wonder. At present, he's under observation in Dr. Stewart's, oh, Seward's Sanitarium near London. Okay, so he is in an asylum. Can he control her? I mean, her mind? Oh, apparently it wasn't his intention. You will remember nothing, I now say. <laughs> Obey. I love how his eyes are lit. I could not help overhearing your name. Might I inquire if you are the Dr. Sewer to sanitarium is at Whitby? Why, uh, yes. I have just leased Carfax Abbey. I understand it adjoins your grounds. Why, yes, it does. Oh, so it's close. I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. 
Count Dracula's just taking coffee and Oh, it'll be a relief to see lights in those dismal old windows. Ah, uh -huh. that's what you think. There are far worse things waiting man than death. He knows, I mean, he can't really die, can he? I mean, of course he can, you know, sunlight and things like that, but... Oh, Lucy, you're so romantic. Laugh all you like. I think he's fascinating. But give me someone a little more normal. <laughs> like John? Yes, dear, like John. I'll leave you to your account and his ruined abbey. <laughs> Good night, Lucy. Good night, dear. Now he's gonna creep into her room, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty funny, you know, looking at it in 2023. But hey, for 1931, the visuals in this movie are just spot on, you know? And the silence works too. And we don't get to see any of his skills apparently. And a natural loss of blood. A natural loss of blood. On the throat of each victim. The same two marks. Mm-hmm. Fangs. Sword sanitary. Camera work. Oh, Hello. Oh, Martin, please. Yes, give it to me now. I can... Did they use a crane for that? That was amazing. Who wants to eat flies? You do, ya loony. Not when I can get nice fat spiders. I'm really enjoying this. You know? I, I, I genuinely am. This is done very, very well, especially for 1931. This is incredible. Nosferatu. Yes, Nosferatu. How do they know? The undead. The vampire. How does he know? Dr. Seward, your patient Rainfield, whose blood I have just analyzed, oh. is obsessed with the idea that he must devour living things in order to sustain his own life. But Professor Van Helsing, oh, Van Helsing. Modern medical science does not admit of such a creature. The vampire is a pure myth, superstition. I may be able to bring you proof. Well, Mr. Enfield, you are looking much better than you did this morning when I arrived. Thanks, I'm feeling much better. Keep your filthy hands to yourself. Now, now, <laughs> Renfield. Send me away from this place. Send me far away. Why are you so anxious to get away? My cries at night. They might disturb Miss Mina. Eh? They might give her bad dreams, Professor Van Helsing. Bad dreams. And the wolf. The guy who's playing Ramfield does an incredible job. And we know how we can make them stop. Ah! You know too much to live, Van Helsing. Now, now, Renfield. We will get no more out of him now for a while. Take him away, Martin. On your way, old fly eater. <laughs> what was that herb that excited him so? Wolfbane. Wolfbane. He's a plant that grows in Central Europe. The natives there use it to protect themselves against vampires. So it's not garlic? Renfield reacted very violently to its scent. You know, I'm pretty sure that people in 1931 were absolutely freaking out by this movie. Yes, master. Look at his eyes, man. Please don't ask me to do that. Don't. Not her. Please, please don't mind. So he's basically telepathic. Don't, please. That's obviously a rubber bat, you know? I mean, that's kind of funny, but yeah. But nice editing. Hey. The 
Are we going to see his fangs? No. And then it's left. Oh. But dear, it was only a dream. Nope. And then in the morning, I felt so weak. It seemed as if all the life had been drained out of me. Is there anything the matter with your throat? Oh, no, but I... Uh, permit me. No, please. Uh, yes. Yes. Yep, that must be a bite mark. How long have you had those little marks? Marks? That's right. Uh, please. Mina, why didn't you let us know? Do not excite her. What could have caused them, Professor? Count Dracula. <laughs> exactly. You're looking exceptionally... Pardon me, Dr. Sewer. But I think Miss Mina should go to her room at once. Professor Van Helsing, I don't believe it's as important as you seem to think it is. Uh, excuse me, Count Dracula, Professor Van Helsing. A most distinguished scientist whose name we know, even in the wild of Transylvania. And why is he famous for? What is he famous for? In my humble effort to amuse your fiancé, Mr. Harker, I was telling her some rather grim tales of my far-off country. Mm -hmm. I can imagine. I can quite oh. understand. The heart has He's not seen in the mirror. I'm afraid it's quite serious. My dear, I'm sure Count Dracula will excuse you. That's right. You must go to your room, as Professor Van Helsing suggests. Miss Mina, may I call later and inquire how you are feeling? Why, yes. Thank you. Once again, that is brilliantly done, you know? The editing here and... Yeah. I love the atmosphere of this movie. I like the performances. I mistrust my own judgment. Look. Ah! <laughs> oh, now the battle is on, isn't it? I dislike mirrors. Van Helsing will explain. Wow. For one who has not lived even a single lifetime, you are a wise man, Ben Helsing. <laughs> that was a great line. The strength of the vampire is that people will not believe in him. That's right. That's actually true. But how does he know all this? I guess we're not going to get any answers for that, but I would love to know. Once again, what a nice shot. So atmospheric, you know? Come here. <laughs> Did you hear what we were saying? The face of an absolute maniac. Yes, I love I it. Heard something. Enough. Be guided by what he says. It's your only hope. Miss Mina, out there, Dad! Hey, Mina is that too? I was not expecting that. Yeah, this guy who's playing Renfield, he is just fantastic. It's genuinely disturbing, you know? Heaven, she's alive. Thank heaven for that. Alive, she's alive. Yes, but in greater danger, for she is already under his influence. Oh, it's horrible, Van Helsing. Horrible. Incredible. Incredible, perhaps, but a fact. Entoist her to a secluded spot and there bit her slightly in the throat. Oh. The lady came back, right? Mina's sister. Miss Mina is to wear this wreath of wolfbane when she goes to bed. Watch her closely and see that she does not remove it in her sleep. I understand, Professor. And under no circumstances must these windows be opened tonight. Very well, sir. I still find it, you know, intriguing that it's not garlic. So when did garlic come into the picture? Or was it in the original novel by Bram Stoker? I don't know because I haven't read it. I have devoted my lifetime to the study of many strange things. Little known facts which the world is perhaps better off for not knowing. Oh, I know. Okay. But Professor, all I want is to get Mina away from all of this. That will do no good. Mina's life is to find the hiding place of Dracula's living corpse and to drive a stake through its heart. Oh, so stakes are a thing. Rats. Rats. Fowls. 
He's freaking incredible in this movie. He's amazing. I'll show you where we can put Mr. Enfield where he won't escape again. Maybe all right, but I have me dance. Come along, old fly eater. Now, you mustn't get out of it this time. I'm awfully sorry to have to lock you back, but you've got this. <laughs> Martin's character is very much needed here. He's like a comic relief, and he's so good. Now that you have learned what you have learned, it would be well for you to return to your own country. I prefer to remain and protect those whom you would destroy. My blood now flows through her veins. She will live through the centuries to come, as I have lived. Should you escape us, Dracula, we know how to save Miss Mina's soul, if not her life. I will find your earth box and drive that stake through your heart. <laughs> Come here. Uh, it's not gonna work? How come it's not working on him? Come here. Or is it working? It's working. He's fighting back, I guess, in his mind. Your will is strong. That's right. Van Helsing. Why, it looked as if you could reach out and touch them. Would you like me to get your hat? Hey, was she trying to bite his neck? I love the night. That's the only time I feel really alive. Oh, and there's the bat. There's the bat again. Look out, he'll get in your hair. Yes? Oh. He's talking to her. They look at me so strangely. Yeah, you know the actors Mina. really do sell the horror in this. Because obviously... Mina, you're... No, Mina, no! Oh. <laughs> Give me that! What's the idea? You gone crazy? You trying to do? Frighten her to death? No, I was trying to save her. Save her? That's a fine way. So what I was about to say is that, you know, obviously, visually, you know, they were very much restrained, you know, so the actors really have to sell the horror. And what they're able to do with their facial expressions and stuff is really remarkable, I have to say. Oh. Is he gonna kill her now? Come, Mr. Harker. No, not yet, I guess. Mina! I didn't leave them here, Master. Yes, you did. I didn't know. I swear. No. No. Wait. Oh, no, don't. Don't kill me. Let me live, please. Punish me, torture me, but let me live. I can't die with all those lives on my conscience. All that blood on my hands. Ah! Ah! Wow. I did not expect this. We have him trapped. Oh, day is breaking. We have him trapped. Oh, we have hurry up. Man, these yeah. sets are just... I know I've said this before, but these are incredible sets! Where are you? Here! Here, Harker! I have found them! Okay... Now what? Get me a piece of stone, anything, to help me drive the stake through their hearts. Mina! So, Van Helsing just killed Dracula? Just like that? Mina! 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 There's nothing more to fear, Miss Mina. Dracula is dead forever. No, 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 you must go. 
But aren't you coming with us? Uh, not yet. Uh, presently. Uh, come, John. So, Mina survived. Yeah. Nice. Well, guys, this was Dracula. Okay, this was really enjoyable. I absolutely loved the sets. I loved the lighting in this movie. I loved the atmosphere of this movie. The acting was really, really good, especially the guy who played Renfield. He was amazing. Luca Shibeta was also very, very good in this movie. You know, obviously this movie had or has its limitations, you know, because it was done in 1931. Obviously, you know, looking at this movie with modern eyes, it doesn't have... It doesn't quite have the effect that it had almost a hundred years ago. Can you believe that? This movie is almost a hundred years old. And yet there are some things about it that still hold up to this day, which is pretty freaking incredible if you ask me. And also, you know, just hearing some Hungarian speech in this movie just really warmed my heart. I really enjoyed that. And also one more thing that is to be considered about this movie. This is 75 minutes long, 75 minutes. And I don't think I missed anything from this movie, which begs the question. Do we really need two hours, two and a half hour, three hour movies? I mean, sometimes it is justified. Like, for example, you know, I watched Dances with Wolves on this channel and I loved each and every minute of it. But, you know, they were able to tell the whole story in 75 minutes. I think that is definitely something to think about, you know. So uh, what do you guys think about this, actually? Do you find some current movies to be way too long? Because I certainly do. But anyway, this was good. This was really good. Guys, if you got some more horror classics to recommend me, you know, throw them at my way, okay? And thank you for watching this movie together with me. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe. And see you next time at the cinema. Bye.